first air of summer by Summerella. Summer Boisier was born in Atlanta, Georgia. She blew up on Vine with her short video clips. She posted everything from challenge videos, makeup tutorials, comedy sketches, as well as her singing and making music. She has over 3 million followers across all of her social media platforms. First Day of Summer is Summerella's first EP. How do we feel about it? First Day of Summer. Yeah. By Summerella. How are you feeling about this artwork, man? I think it's pretty dope. Captures the mood very well. First Day of Summer, you know. Very enjoyable. I like the colors, too. The colors really pop out. Yeah, I think the colors is dope. I like how she has that confetti cloth or throw whatever it is over top of the um, chair. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then like the blue kind of, you know, portrait look. Yeah. And it, it looks like something you would do like at a beach or at a party or something like that. Like she's just chilling. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it fits perfectly. Yeah. Agreed. Flow of the album, man. The flow of the album started out and I thought the flow was really consistent on this one. Right. Like it's, it just embodies a summer album mm -hmm. like that's why first day of summer i know it plays into her name and everything mm -hmm. but i feel like she knew to release this in the summertime because this is definitely something you want to be playing at a party i'm pretty sure the girls will probably relate to it a lot more mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean you guys can't feel it because it's just some good music and All i right. get and the the flow of the album is just it's, it's really good man yeah, I feel like it was consistent throughout. It was really like, you know, just that kind of vibe where it's real smooth, can play in the background of anything like that. And it's real consistent with, you know, the sound and the vocals, you know, everything just to give you that real good summer vibe. So, yeah, it was real consistent. Highlights, man. What highlights are your favorite on this project? I feel like, um, I want to say running back, and pull up is my highlights running back i kind of feel like it was just a great sound and then pull up i like the duet between her and jacques like at first i didn't really like how her voice was sounding because it felt like it had a lot, a lot of echo added to it but the more i listened to it the more i got comfortable with it and then you know her and Jacquees at the end was just really, really dope together. I know we kind of talk about how Jacquees like kind of oversings things sometimes, but it was pretty, it, it fit with the song. It felt really good and it was dope, but I thought those were the two highlights of the album. Uh, I like communication as well. I thought that was dope. Well, I, I'm glad we have different highlights of the project because that pretty much just kind of shows how good the project was. Yeah. Uh, communication and uh do you miss it do you miss it and, okay and also you on you okay but uh more so communication i love the way she decided to sing i love yeah. the acoustic sound and the vibe of the song it was it's the first one song. that was just kind of like stood out yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it's, it's just different it's mm -hmm. just it's a nice slow summer joint with the acoustic guitar and it and if you can nail the acoustic guitar playing along you can you you just nailed the song yeah and i actually do like pretty bitches in a trap as well oh for real yeah i thought okay. that was actually a dope fun song she kind of kind of did like a little rapping thing and yeah you know, but that to me was like the height height of the album it's not saying that those were the only good songs or anything those are just the songs to me okay. you on you communication and then uh do you miss it because i love how she sampled mary j blige okay. kind of like uh, most of the projects is kind of like doing like homage to I guess people that she grew up listening to it says she was yeah. born in like 95 so that's the vibe i got because you know if y'all didn't catch it groupie has superstar influences right. do you miss it has mary j blige i can love you and your city has genuine so anxious uh running back is uh total and i love the percussion on running back that, yeah. that percussion sounds dope it it's has really kind of like a slight mechanical sound yes. to it yeah and yeah. then uh that's yeah that's pretty much it for the like you know the homage to the older music but actually really dope the low lights of this yeah. project well for real for real i don't have a low light but for namesake i'll just pick one and i'd say if i had to say anything it would be dance for me i right, dance for you okay. that was my least favorite song on the project it's not like I felt like it was a bad song or anything. It's yeah. just my least favorite song on the project. Yeah, I can agree with you. Dance for You was my least favorite song. Uh, Pretty Bitches in the Trap. I was really wasn't feeling it. Just because I love the whole summer vibe or, you know, just the vibe in general of the first seven tracks. Like, it was just like, okay, I get who this is for. It's just not for me. I enjoy more of the former than the latter. Final thoughts, man. 
Uh, I thought it was a really great album. I mean, you know, this is my first time hearing this of Summer. I, maybe I've seen her once. Summerella. You, Summerella. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I may have seen her before. Maybe I just haven't I'm recognized sure it. You did. But yeah, for as far like you know, uh, introduction to a complete project, I was I was pleasantly surprised. You know, I thought it was a really dope project. It fits the time, like you said, really well. And I would listen to it again. It's pretty dope. Yeah, um, I, I I saw Summerella on social media. Like when I actually went back and started looking at the clips, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize that was her. That That's did probably that. the reaction I'm I didn't get. really yeah. realize it was her that was doing that. And for some reason, her name just rung a bell. Like I had heard of her multiple times beforehand. But yeah, my final thoughts on the project, man. It's a really good project. Really good album. Uh, I don't even know if this is an album or EP. But even though it's only a 30 minute album or project, it sounds good yeah. the way it is like it, it didn't feel like it needed a whole bunch more hits i mean a mo- bunch more songs yeah. it's almost like the same length of bruno mars uh you know 24 karat magic project and it showed a lot of her range too yeah definitely because yeah. she has a great voice and yeah. like i said if you have any love for like 90s r&b you will love this you will project, love this project yeah. because it's like she nailed that and, and it she, didn't sound gimmicky either it nah. sounded all nice and organic and natural it's really good on the ears yeah yeah especially like, cause when I heard Groupie I was just like man I love Usher Superstar yeah, like yeah. you know it's like you ain't gonna slide that in yeah, and, and that ki- and that kind of constant reminder kind of kept you in tune with the album too what do you give it man yo check it out I'll give it a check man you know I thought it was a good I think you know you won't be like disappointed you'll find something to like in this Facts, bro. yeah 100% man same like you said check my nigga you're gonna find at least Four out of the nine songs that you'll like, yeah, like easily. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go that route. You'll yeah. find at least four songs out of nine yeah. songs that you'll like because it's a great voice. And like I said, if you like it's, and when I say she's like paying homage to the '90s songs, it's not like she's stealing the vibe because like. For instance, on Do You Miss It, she samples Mary's I Can Love You in the background. Yeah. But it's like a different song in yeah. a sense. Yeah, it's you know kind of like saying? a hint. Like, you know, this is what I'm kind of thinking of, but I'm going my own direction with it. So, but yeah. Definitely listen to Communicate Communication because yeah. that song just sounds beautiful. Just the tone she sung it in. The, yes. The chill of the beat. It's, it's, it's a fucking great project. 